For question 54, we're given the following two reactions. Ammonia breaks down to nitrogen and hydrogen with a delta H of 92 kilojoules. Nitrogen reacts with water to produce nitrogen dioxide and hydrogen gas with a delta H of 340 kilojoules. And we're asked to find the unknown reaction, the delta H for the reaction of nitrogen dioxide reacting with hydrogen to produce water and ammonia. So this is a Hess's law calculation. And for this calculation, we want to change these two reactions here to give us the unknown reaction. And so I would start with the first reaction and take note that we have ammonia as a starting material. I want ammonia as a product in the unknown reaction. So to do that, I'm going to flip the first reaction. I flip the first reaction, it becomes nitrogen plus three hydrogen produces two ammonia. And when I flip that first reaction, I also flip the delta H. So that becomes a negative 92 kilojoules. For the next reaction, I take a look and I have nitrogen and I have water. And again, when I look at the reaction I would like to have, I have water as a product. So I'm gonna flip the next reaction as well. And when I flip the next reaction, I get two nitrogen dioxide plus four hydrogen yield nitrogen and four water. And again, because I flip that reaction, I flip the delta H, so delta H becomes a negative 340 kilojoules. I go to add these two reactions together, and anything on the opposite side, right, nitrogen can cancel out with nitrogen, when I go and add these two reactions together, and now I'm left with two nitrogen dioxides plus seven hydrogens produces two ammonia and four water. That's the reaction I'm looking for, and now I can add together those delta H values to get a delta H for this unknown reaction of approximately 432 kilojoules. So this is a Hess's law calculation. It's the fact that enthalpy is a state function which allows us to add together these different reactions to determine the delta H of the overall unknown reaction. Because the fact that enthalpy is a state function means it's independent of the path. All that it matters is where I start and where I end in energy, not if I did that reaction in one step, like the reaction indicated here, or two separate steps, like these reactions here, the overall enthalpy for that reaction is the same.